What is going on Warriors? It is your boy Shin Ryu and it is time for another Street Fighter 2 video. Right after work and right back into the game. It's been a minute guys and uh, there's been a few surprises that's actually happened as you guys can see. Straight at the top here with this double colored with you know Mikey, Leo being back you know for pulls and stuff like that. I've been a little bit uh, conflicted with regards to this because for me honestly what I would have loved is not just the characters returning but the event coming as well so that for those of us who kind of missed it you know get a chance to do it all over again you know because it's it's a it's a collab right they do work together and i think i've checked the turtle there's only just an injury homecoming so there's nothing else if there's anything else because i'm kind of sometimes fond of missing out on some things guys let me know in the comments below i'll be happy to go right ahead and review again uh but prior to that apart from that though what we're here for is to obviously you know go through some of the other events that i haven't done yet and yes yes guys i've started slacking all over again but you know we're here we're going to get most of it if not everything done by the end of the day you know if i get this video you know you no know, uh, re released by today as well great otherwise you know probably going to be tomorrow at the latest but when i'm in this video i'm not talking about this particular one i'm talking about the main one that's going to be coming up we are going to try our best to try and make it a bit of a storyline as well you know i'm going to try to use some of my funny voices in it probably look stupid doing it but it is what it is guys give me a heads up warning if you guys think it's going to be cringy for your ears otherwise you guys have been warned okay so we'll go right ahead and what we're going to do first of all is we're going to be attempting the cyber attack okay pretty simple by the way guys you guys i'm sure you guys already completed the turtle hide and seek uh going forward um what is going to happen is that if we because I, I it's pretty fun but it would be also nice to sort of get like a journal of me actually going through this stuff so in the future whenever there's a future hide and seek what i'm going to do is i'm going to wait till the no till everything has been unlocked all right and once everything has been unlocked i'm going to go right ahead and now actually you know uh show you guys how i actually get it done it looks like i'm almost running out of power i don't know why i haven't paid attention before but let's give our stuff some juice and there you see the charging going back forward okay so now let's get to the main event of the day all right it's going to be us actually going for hold on one moment not sure where i stopped during distraction but let's get to it okay so now we're going for the cyber attack we already have both the second and the third one released we're going to be doing both of them separately okay we're going to obviously try and blister as fast as possible but you can get the rewards and not be crying like you know the last time you know whatever but let's get to it okay so we're going to go right ahead and start first i would have loved to actually have used the turtles themselves through this adventure but you know they're not really that qualified in my opinion when i mean that qualified i mean the level of my turtles so we're going to go right ahead and do normal stuff okay and um once we're done with the actual uh, you know storyline events you know the homecoming event itself then we're going to do our final well our pool we're going to make sure we do those like a lump sum of final pools before we actually eventually see what else can get to all right and um obviously my goal is to aim for Dantella hitting the top and so others may have to suffer and as a result of that honestly if i can just get them to triple s i'm fine well i just get down to triple s i'll be fine with however the other ones end up because in the end like i said before what i'm going to do is i'm going to, unless there is any other you know collab character that's going to be pushed i'm going to make sure that i'm dedicating all my chaotic starlight to strictly collab characters not because you know remember in the past i just focused on that skin squad and that was it so let's go to the typical one the easier ones uh versus the ones that you get on a regular so i i feel like i've a character's repeated already i'm not really sure okay there is so let's keep going oh no i forgot i already picked the first uh all right, so now I'm actually just doing major slacks right here. But it's all good. That should be the last. One. Okay, I was going to say that should be the last one I miss. Hopefully it is. All right, yeah, it should be the last one I miss going forward. I believe Chun Li's one is up here. And so now we just. Okay, well, of course, this is a first time guess, so we ain't got a choice. But 28 moves still within the threshold, so we're pretty much good and we're all fine. I'm going to go right ahead and go to the bottom character here. 
and just try and blister again amount for speed yeah for speed so typically when it comes to this combination here this is obviously my go-to team before i got um the fighting spirit of uh you know trendy ryu unlocked i'll typically keep him in the you know the rear slot the tag slot just obviously to protect him because first of all uh he's not as, he's not as durable as you would like and secondly you know you don't have um the you know health benefits that you start to add you know as you can see that it's getting right now so his uh, durability might be a bit of a struggle and but now that he's now that we have all things set out he's pretty much part of, part of the main lineup and so only is one that has to be sacrificing goes to the back okay i see you eventually maybe have it you know the intention of actually once you can get like you know a version of you know can and maybe we just kind of pair all of them you know all the training characters together you know and all that stuff in terms of ryu ken chili and maybe gal is the last person uh or maybe akuma you know whatever but we're gonna try and do like a trendy squad eventually but for now uh we're gonna be doing this and of course if they do let us have ryu the regular ryu to hit triple s that we cannot do a ryu squad as well but for now we're gonna go right ahead and just try and work with what we have but like i was also trying to explain with the way my uh combo chain goes there are two options when it comes to combo chain with this particular team here the first one is oh we have this stuff again so and it's focused last time i was kind of talking a bit and i kind of like was it black and i was first boy i can't even remember who was first i cannot remember who was first but i believe we're going to do process of elimination uh okay i believe it was hugo yeah there we go all right uh i feel like i saw blanca did i see blanca somewhere oh boy i'm gonna hit this one. Oh no i missed it so okay i think we got to remember where gal was uh why do i feel like i saw you already let's go right ahead and try okay you know what i'm actually now i'm just kind of like just missing that we saw blanca up here yep Ooh, Chun Li, I remember you were here. Oh, oh that's where that's where the other blanket was. I knew I'd seen him before. It's gotta be you. Wait a minute. I didn't realize this two of is This is probably my worst dirty, but hey, you know what? Um it's whenever I'm like in a morning recording mode, then I tend to like do a lot of mess ups, but hey, it's all good. Uh but going back to what I was trying to say about my lineup here, okay? Um the this lineup has, in my opinion, an attacking and a defensive combo chain you can run okay uh, if you want to go through the defensive uh, what you you want to have um Goken shuriken uh, as the c2 because that way um he stacks up the you know um whatever thunder i don't know i've forgotten the name oh my boy we're about to go against my boy eh? all right well we'll stack up that uh whatever thunder um why have i forgotten the name and um Ryu only just gets to do the basic punch there. But when it comes to the actual, you know, um, main combo line, all right, then we actually go right ahead and do the Ryu C2 because that's going to do the AoE attack. And of course, more importantly, uh, that hits harder. So, um, but you can sort of go either ways, but if you want to be really defensive, you have to go the other way. But as if you're going with that, this squad that I'm going with. So I'm going to just uh, go, go ahead and do a quick pause. All right, we're back. And so we're going to go right ahead into the next challenge. I was trying to you know, illustrate something to you guys before, but I guess because of the distractions around with the calls and stuff, I just kind of may have rumbled some things a bit. But I was trying to explain my current lineup here in that there's two ways you can go right now i'm going the offensive way where you will notice trend actually does the c2 and that's obviously because you know on the first couple of uh minutes seconds he's going to take the beating and it's going to start to stack up his attack and of course by the time it's his turn he dishes out more than when you do like a c1 for example with um ryu where he's not taking as much hits and all that stuff but at the same time you miss out on the is it rising is it 
whatever tropic <laughs> i don't know why tropic thunder just came off my head right now if you guys haven't seen that movie you should go see it it's hilarious okay um and uh hold on let's see here need to get this thing here still thunder yeah i don't know why i just kind of got it off my um head for the longest time uh, but yeah you, you you stack the steel thunder up and it actually adds much your defense if you're going on a defensive route um, obviously you need that for longer fights um but yeah i prefer this route shelly which you know trendy ryu doing a lot of protecting obviously once we get him to triple s and we can fully unlock his potential we are still also trying to like stack up his fighting spirit to plus 30 and above because obviously you guys know once i hit uh 30 then i'm gonna hit 40 because this is my main priority okay uh, so let's keep going here um and yeah now we i think only just a few more steps closer to completing this particular round here shoot I, I wish you know i wish this mode also had you know the skip because honestly whoa what's going on oh i was just trying to jump ahead oh yeah i know what that's why because i i kind of missed out on my flow for some reason i thought i'd done that around but yeah let's go right ahead and just get done. i'm like why would it be locked so yep uh, we, like i was saying i wish this mode had a skip you know it would have been pretty easy you know all we have to do is just do those puzzles and stuff there sh is there still any puzzle left i probably have to pay attention once i you know start it i know typically the third one's on that i know that we haven't done any pushing puzzles which is kind of weird we've done two pairing puzzles too which is kind of weird as well did he just give us like two pairing puzzles and not to push yeah i think that's what happened now what i've loved to have had those pairing puzzles during those times when i kind of missed out on the rewards because obviously the pushing puzzle added to my downtime and yep another w we're close to the boss one more person we got um what kind of what would i call this hugo again uh some what is what is this hugo called i don't i can't really place the name it's kind of ironic and it was not trendy so i'm not even going to try and call him that oh look at Sega trying to like survive Come on, get out of here. All right, and last but not the least, the boss, we should assume that we have enough from this squad to build a large enough score. I don't care about high scores. I don't care about getting as high as possible. We just want to make sure we meet the minimum threshold of having to collect all three cards. Obviously, that means we get more additions to, you know, pull in for our next, you know, um, turtle. If obviously, you know, we had like enough to get to Mikey, the guaranteed Mikey, then yeah, maybe I would have. But honestly, I'm not, you know, um, I'm not worried because I have, you know, you know, um, friends that I'm friends in the game who already have Michelangelo and to a good degree too. So I can always loan him. And honestly, I think he's one of the, whoa, okay. I was almost surprised like why? Was I losing character? I forgot it was a boss fight. Okay, we got all three. Nice. Uh, but going back to what I was trying to say before, let's go right ahead and just unlock all this ones here. I'm going to use that to round it, wrap it up. I don't think Michelangelo is going to be one of those characters. Woo! Okay, we got another copy of Raphael, so that's cool. Then we should be able to do some Awakening. And then we should get him to A plus for the first time. Was that? No. Is that? No. I think we can get him to S, right? Come on, Raphael. I mean, it's supposed to be yeah we can get into s all right cool stuff all right so here we go slow stuff slow stuff so just gonna go right ahead and just take a nice screen grab here it's my bro typically share progress of our characters because we play he plays on a plus and i'm on crunchy roll so we can you know cross check out whatever so this is how we kind of do it and we're not in the same location so so yep we got him an s and um leo's still stuck and you know a so um it's all good we got donny on s as well right but we need one more copy of donny to get s plus uh but we're going to keep on uh pushing this through 
right now how many do we have to pull eventually we have about 28 now we're gonna keep on have I pulled my I haven't done this for today that is actually ironic so I only do one as you know because like I said before yeah sure I can always get Ryu later but I'm, I'm a bit worried that uh, I don't think the turtle should be able to last and not be obsolete by the time I get them all to triple S, but it's going to be a slow grind because it's going to be only chaotic starlight. Those, and a perfect example is Gormagala Ken. And the reason I'm saying that is because obviously, you know, he was one of those characters that a lot of people were excited to push to triple S when chaotic starlight was first announced. Yep, another copy of Raphael. That's nice. But then um, now, I don't think anyone is really using pushing him and like i was trying to say before i want to establish what i was talking about with regards to mikey let's do some quick except if you go to leo right now of course i have a couple of leo so but if you go to leo right now it's typically exhausted once you get to maybe like oh you do have this one but it doesn't have star but once you get to like you know maybe like the ssz ones are not going to really be on demand okay but if you go to mikey right now uh not put any shade you can see can easily get him this is a two-star mikey right now four cars waiting to be requested for so i'm not worried about not having mikey you no know, a copy of mikey because in the end if i have to do like a third of squad or whatever i can always just have a dedicated space to learn him out um every time i want you know my boy people around pushing reuse slowly and surely i think santa was ahead of me before but i'm kind of like getting up close to button SS Plus, but who knows, maybe he has three copies already. Red Push Triple S. As for my cars, the moment he gets to Triple S, he's going to be kitted up to the max. I have some spare, and I think I already have a copy of you know, his car as well. But let's just go right ahead and show you what we're talking about here, and we're going to wrap it up from there. If we go to, you know, let's go to Lynch Fighters. Let's just go to, you know, we can use it for you. Go to the garage, go to the workshop. Oh, well, we got 22k ready, so we can try and see if we can make it pull. Uh, but I'll be after we show you the warehouse. So, if you look at the warehouse right now, uh, my gen is still there lying dormant because obviously, unless I get him to, you know, um, just a regular pull, uh, I'm not doing divination for him. So, I already have one. This is first trend review, second trend review, third trend review. So, I got three trend reviews. So, all I need is just three cars and of course if you go guys look at my bag i know some of you guys are curious as to what i have in the bag right now um got 10 of these 10 of these and i'm like and i don't know what to do with it uh, obviously i think i'm going to start balancing out some characters that are sort of like are close to being full and that way we can get the next one in um if i i went totally out what well, i had to go totally out if i go over here right now before we actually make the pool and i look at which character is only one away? Well, I would, I would, we'll check it after. But let's go right ahead and do some garage stuff real quick here. There's some quick pulls. I like to make sure that I have minimum 15 for actually go ahead for the pull because I like to make sure that at least I'll make it. That's if 18, right? 18, minimum 18. Because I want to make sure that by the time I'm doing a pull, I pull at least one copy. And that's it, right? So we're going again. Um, to come out with and guys i want you guys to enjoy this mini taps if you guys are enjoying it anyways because i think i'm going to start going open all at once unless we have an actual you know reward i want to reward i mean like we have the actual um triple s kit or you know character that we're looking to pull otherwise we're going to be doing some lump sum pool but we're going to be doing the individual pools for one final time here consciously if i do any video pool going forward they're going to be on a conscious stuff but we're no more doing it as some sort of ritual to pull in yeah i'm done with that you no know, like surely what happened to me with with donny that was nasty man so many like you know stuff that i had and yet i only put just a miserable amount of donnies was the PD actually just kind of made it a bit better, but yeah, what's kind of so which character is it going to be? Okay, so we got finally another copy. Oh, do we have him up to three yet? A suitable? I'm not sure. 
So we're gonna go back. Uh, let's go to Suitable. Where are you? I, I, I know we don't have more three yet because that's why he's not my active tank. We don't even have up to two, so we're just about to just change this to two. Actually, I wanted to just quick equip because I typically make sure that you have the full stacks, otherwise I don't use it at all. So that's pretty much it, guys, on the second level there. A little bit longer because video contained other stuff as well. Third one's gonna be straight to the point. We're just gonna go right ahead and just bridge to recline and find out bits of rewards. And then, of course, we're gonna be going into the actual portal itself, the homecoming adventure. Guys, I can't wait. Chance to get some rewards. I've heard that it's a bit of a mini duplicate to what previous events. Right now, I'm just looking for the rewards. And let's hear, see what a commission is all about. Obviously, I've missed half of it, so I have no clue. I'm probably going to have some questions while I'm playing it. But otherwise, guys, it's been your boy, Shin Ryu. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I uh, will catch you back shortly as I go right ahead with the next video. Peace.